All right, boys, today we're back with another shorts compilation. Parts 21 through 40 of the creepiest video game Easter eggs. Okay, this video officially marks the end of an era. Not really because I want to end the series, but more because I have to. Ever since like part 25, it's just been a complete struggle finding actual good and creepy Easter eggs. If you haven't noticed already, the majority of the series is based around a lot of older games. And it's like nothing recent is ever discovered or even being added to games in the first place when it comes to creepy Easter eggs. Now, of course, there's tons out there. But like I said, I only want to cover them if they're actually decent and worth talking about. So yes, this is most most likely 100% the last shorts compilation on the topic. If there's ever anything crazy I stumble across, then of course I'll do a part 41, 42, and so on. I just really don't see this reaching up to part 60 to make a third compilation. It's honestly crazy to think about how my very first short on the channel was an unsettling Easter egg video, and that was posted over a year ago. Anyways, I'ma quit all the yapping. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support across all of them. The series itself has gained millions and millions of views, so thank y'all for sticking around with me. As always, if you guys do enjoy, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on them post notifications. And now let's get right into to the video. These are the creepiest video game Easter eggs. By the way, I also made a full shorts compilation of parts 1 through 20 if you want to go check that out after this. Layers of Fear was a horror game released in 2016, and if you go down into the basement, you'll come across this door that is always locked. Now, if you change the date on your computer to October 31st, the door will finally open, and inside is a small room with a Ouija board in it. If you interact and type in specific words such as Cthulhu, a face, or woman, some pretty terrifying things start to occur. Doom was a first-person shooter released in 2016, and it was honestly really fun. Basically, you travel through Mars slaying all sorts of demons. However, if you take the audio of the Cyber Demon theme and throw it into a program like Audition, you can see that the spectrogram reveals the number 666 followed by a pentagram after zooming in. It's kind of creepy, kind of not, considering how it matches the main theme of the game of slaying demons. But in several of the Call of Duty Zombies maps, if you have a sniper and aim in a specific direction, you'll get a jump scare. For example, in Origins, if you stand by Pack-a-Punch and aim your DSR into this room of the church, this is what happens. And it's kind of cool because these little jump scare Easter eggs can be found in maps like Mob of the Dead, Shadows of Evil, Nuketown, and so much more. The Silent Hill PT was supposed to be released in 2014, but was later canceled due to a disagreement. However, we did get a demo for a bit on the PS4, which was also soon later removed from the PlayStation Store. Now, this demo was truly terrifying, and it gets even creepier when you use cheats to flip the camera behind the player, which reveals that you are always being followed throughout the game. He lured her out by telling her it was just a game. Found shot once in the Scooby-Doo Escape from the Colsodian was a Flash game released in 2004, and it was pretty much made to promote the new movie at the time. Keep in mind, we're talking about a Scooby-Doo game, so obviously it's made for kids. Anyways, in one of the rooms you can find a crowbar, and if you go into this other room containing nothing but a mummy sarcophagus, you can pry it open and text pops up that you literally have to lean in forward to read. Pretty much it says, I don't have much time, someone is coming, please help before, and then you're greeted with this crazy jump scare. I never realized how many insane easter eggs were in Goat Simulator until I actually looked into it. But if you work your way towards the hill above Goatsville, you'll find this pentagram which literally asks you to provide human sacrifices. After you drag five people into the pentagram, they form into this ball, and then you're able to take any object around you and add it to the wrecking ball. Not only that, but you also get this demonic goat appearance. If you're able to look past the overall comedic aspect of the game of goats ragdolling across the earth, I'd definitely say that this is a pretty unsettling easter egg. I don't know what it is with devs putting nightmare fuel imagery in kid games, but today we're taking a look at Spongebob Saves the Day. So one day, uh, someone was going through the game files, and they found this image of the Yummer, which just looks absolutely terrifying. Now, the Yummer never actually appeared throughout the game, which left a lot of people wondering why it's in the game files and if it's just a scrapped character. Apparently, it was just a modeling test that was used as a placeholder, and the devs forgot to remove it. Regardless, this is still a pretty creepy thing to find in the game files of a SpongeBob game. California Speed was a popular racing game released on the N64, as well as in many arcades. It's pretty fast-paced, so you don't really focus too much on reading the billboards as you zoom past them. But on one of them, you can find a pretty unsettling message that says, Sometimes God takes mommies and puppies away, and sometimes, uh, just sometimes, I do. It was later revealed that this was a placeholder that was meant to be changed before the release. I'm just really confused of why they chose to use this message as the placeholder. Resident Evil 4 was released back in 2005. If you simply shoot the lake, this giant monster emerges out of the water and you're greeted with the perfect jump scare.
This Easter egg ended up coming back earlier this year with the Resident Evil 4 remaster. Once again, you shoot the water, but this time it forces you into first person mode for a second before being eaten. I don't know, I kind of feel like this ruins the perfect jump scare, because that small first person cut gives you just enough time to realize that something's about to happen. This era cleanup detail was released back in 2015. Basically, you're a space station janitor cleaning up after various sci-fi horror events. Inside of this room, you can find a painting that most players would just walk past. Everything appears normal at first glance, but if you stop and stare for just a little bit, the table becomes bloody, flames fill the back background and overall it gets pretty creepy real fast. Along with this, you can also find a deer head on the wall and if you spam clean it too many times, this is what happens. In Red Dead Redemption 2, if you go to this location between chapters 2 and 6, you'll find this outhouse with a woman locked huh? inside by her own family. She can be heard counting, but before messing up, the farthest she can make it to is 5. One, two, three, four, five. The outhouse is facing Butcher Creek, and upon going there, you can well, find a total of five more outhouses, all labeled with tally marks. If you go to each of them in numerical order, it forms a pentagram on the map, meaning that the girl was actually possessed, which kind of explains why she's locked up and looks the way she does. Now, if you revisit her later on in the game, all you'll find is her skeleton, which indicates she was most likely forgotten about. These are the creepiest video game Easter eggs, and surprisingly, this one was from Ooh. Roblox. Basically, public servers don't give you access to admin commands, but private servers will give permission to specific users, and within those commands, if you simply type and I love you are always watching, this video will pop up of an extremely creepy clown literally just rubbing his face. Pretty insane for a game as child-friendly as Roblox. Eventually, this Easter egg was removed in later updates, and as to why this was even put in the game in the first place, it's still a mystery to this day. Utaro Natsutari 2 is an indie game that pretty much focuses on being cursed. In one of the locations, you can find these three gates all the way to the left. If you walk through them in order, starting from top to bottom, and then again from the bottom to the top, a bunch of unskippable Japanese text flashes across your screen before fading to black. You're then greeted with this extremely creepy image of a woman as eerie music plays in the back. There's nothing else you can do here, and the only way to return to your game is by completely resetting it. Ryan's World is a very popular channel on YouTube based around toy reviews, and if you didn't know, he released his own video game called Race with Ryan. It kind of looks like a Mario Kart knockoff, but that's not the point. If you go into the game files, you can find some pretty normal looking artwork for the faces of the player models, but then there's this one which shows crossed out eyes pouring blood and a mouth sewn shut. This model was obviously never used in the actual game, but it's still pretty creepy. All I gotta say is, those devs were on demon time. From Death Stranding director's cut, Sam will sometimes have visions in the private room. In one of them, you'll wake up to this strange shadow figure standing in the shower. If you interact with it, the shadow starts freaking out and then you're greeted with this jump scare. This is a reference to PT, which was canceled a few years back. Both these games were developed by Kojima, and this is just his way of reminding us that he could have made one of the best horror games of all time. Doki Doki Literature Club was released back in 2017, and from what I could gather, you pretty much try to riz up three of the four female characters in the game. Depending on the choices and actions you make, it could result in some pretty disastrous things for the other characters. Apparently, Monica alters the game code to prevent the other girls from confessing their love to you, and after she erases all the other characters, you get this one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. If you just so happen to be recording this part with OB, BS or exploit, this is what happens. These are the creepiest video game easter eggs, and this one's pretty neat because you can only do it on October 31st during Halloween. Anyways, in Batman Arkham Knight, if you've already captured Man Bat, you can return to the GCPD to find that he's no longer locked up. Now if you grapple from building to building, Man Bat will be sitting on a random rooftop to greet you in the most horrific way imaginable. Upon going back to the GCPD, you can see that the glass is completely shattered and the officer then says this. Cash got off a couple rounds, but it was too quick. No way we're gonna stop that day. Happy Halloween, huh? Way back in 2013, a Pokemon X and Y was released. The game has tons of buildings you can go inside of and explore, but one of them located on North Boulevard contains something strange. What? If you use the elevator and go to the second floor, lights start flickering and this ghost girl will spawn behind you. Really? She'll then levitate forward and say you are not the one. How what kind are we? The only other time you see this girl is in a hotel, where she tells you to be quiet so she can hear the elevator. Over these past 10 years, tons of people have come up with different theories of who she is and why she's there, but we've still never gotten a clear explanation to this day. From Ben and Ed, you can find this hidden room where you get a pop-up message that reads Ben Drowns. Now this is a reference to the popular creepypasta Ben Drowned, but things get a lot crazier than that. You can find another secret room that leads you to a Facebook page called Ben and Ed, basically a collection of all this strange imagery. Later on, the game released an update called Ben Clips where if you beat it, you get this jump scare followed by a 
black screen and right before the game crashes you can spot these coordinates in the bottom right corner basically all these little easter eggs turned into an arg where people found these packages containing clues located in four different countries the images from the facebook page are linked to the locations of the packages but from what i could find online the arg was unfortunately never completed but you made tuki was a game released way back in 2007 and it contains some pretty unnerving imagery to say the least however if you were to go to the magnet room activate this machine turn on this blue ball and walk south into this blue box you're then teleported to this caged area where your only option is to walk through the crack in the wall after doing so you're transported to this room which contains nothing but this creepy face the longer you stay here the more distorted the face gets and the more you travel the more intense the music becomes after a few minutes you're transported into this intestines maze where the only way to escape is by finding these portals 